In the 1920s, the tomb of King Tut, undisturbed for over 3,000 years, was discovered in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. The television was invented, and Charles Lindbergh flew solo across the Atlantic Ocean and the airplane named the Spirit of St. Louis. By 1924, serious illness and death is attributed to the ingestion of radium-226 by women factory workers who had painted watch dials with luminous, radioactive paint. New Jersey dentist Theodore Bloom observed an unusual infection in a watch dial painter's jawbone, which he surmised was caused by the radioactive substance used in the manufacture of watch dials. Two years later, the American Medical Association condemned the use of x-rays to remove body hair due to severe health problems, occasional disfigurement, and even death. By the end of the decade, the International Congress of Radiology established the International X-ray and Radium Protection Committee, the forerunner of today's International Commission on Radiological Protection, which recognized the hazards of radiation and the need for control. Within a few years, this committee recommended the limitation of dose received by radiation workers. Its recommendations served as the basis for worldwide radiation protection until the 1950s. One year later, the U.S. Advisory Committee on X-ray and Radium Protection was formed. This committee is the predecessor of the National Council on Radiation Protection and Measurements, which was reorganized in 1964.